All right, guys, we are back. I am excited. I'm actually a little tired, but I'm drinking coffee today because I don't have any bang. I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are those? Today, we are going to be looking at three more animatronics from Spirit Halloween that I just found on eBay. Actually, I think I saw one of these yesterday, but I held off until today in making this video so you guys could share it with me. We have three of them here. I think I may have seen one or two of these before, but let's go ahead and look at them anyway because I'm not 100% positive. The first one is $200 or best offer, and it's called Spirit Halloween Animated Prop 2013 Death Row. I think I have seen this one. Let's go ahead and open it up. Yeah, I'm not sure if I have seen this one or the one that is similar to this by Distortions. That one is absolutely insane and scares the crap out of me. But let's go ahead and look at this one today. Let's open up the pictures here. Look at that, guys. Look how big his mouth is. Holy crap. <laughs> Of course, if I was getting killed in the electric chair, my mouth would probably be that big, too. Okay, let's see. We got that picture. He's in the chair. I don't know if the chair actually comes with him or not. It probably does because it has some blood on it. Um, looks like he's actually holding on to the chair itself. So that's probably part of the, uh, the prop. That mouth just cracks me up, man. That is huge. He's got like the little helmet thing on and then the wires that come out his head. And look, we got an Uncle Charlie in the background. Okay, let's keep on moving here. <laughs> there's a side view and there's a view of the mechanism. Okay, let's go ahead and go over to the Spirit Halloween fandom page here where I've already pulled this up. It says Death Row, also known as the Electrocuted Prisoner was an animatronic sold by Spirit Halloween for the 2012-2014 Halloween season. Resembled a prisoner wearing shackles and an electrocution helmet, making a screaming expression. That's the giant mouth. Okay. When activated, the high-voltage box would make sounds that pop open. Sounds that pop open? I don't really understand that. Which activated the prisoner. The prisoner's body thrashed around while his head illuminated and screaming could be heard. Okay, that is a pretty cool picture of him right there. Let's roll on down the page here. And here is a picture of the box. I always love to look at the box because I want to see what it says on there. It says, crazy twitching movements, realistic size, psychotic sounds, shocking light up head and hands place in your chair. Okay, <laughs> so I guess that answers the question of whether the chair comes with him or not. It must not. You must have to put him in your own chair. But going by the picture here, it looks like his head and whole body like rocks back and forth, which is what the distortions one does. That one's absolutely insane, but we're going to check this one out. Let's see if we got some more pictures here. Um, yeah, here's a picture of him in a store set up and there's another one from the store kind of a blurry picture but we get the idea and one more from the store and again it's kind of a blurry picture but i love seeing these pictures from the store because look at this look beside him there's a whole stack of death rows in the boxes that looks so cool gets me so excited to get back to the stores Let's close out of this. We're going to go down here and uh, watch the video here. So let me get my headphones on. Death Row Spirit Halloween. Okay. I like the sounds he's making, that's pretty cool. And I like how the lights are like flashing. And I do like that he's thrashing back and forth. Um, 
Again, all I can think of when I see this guy is the Distortions one. And that one, like I said twice already, it's absolutely insane. So if you're comparing the two, it doesn't even compare. The Distortions one is totally awesome. This one is still cool. I did like it. I love that giant mouth. I just think that's hilarious. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one that we're going to look at here. And that is called Zombie Swing Boy. Tire swing, oh, tire swing zombie boy. Okay, let's open up the uh, the pictures here. He is on auction starting at a hundred bucks. Um, looks like there's five days left. So if you want to get over there and bid on him, there's still five days to do it. Open up the pictures here. Uh, look, at <laughs> that face just cracks me up. That is too funny. Does he only have one foot? Holy crap, he only has one foot. Okay, so let's, that, oh my gosh, I love that. That is so cool. He looks like Joe Bean videos. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> All right, oh my gosh, look at that face. Look, we even got a closer picture of the face. That is hilarious. I wonder if somebody, like, busted his nose in right there, or if that's just, like, how it is. This looks pretty cool. He looks like he's in pretty bad shape. Because that, that must be the peg leg. And it looks like it's all cracked up and the foam is showing through. Um, yeah, so he's actually... I don't know, man. He's in not the greatest shape. However, he is an awesome looking prop. Okay, so let's go on over to the, uh, the Spirit uh, uh, fandom page here again. Tire Swing Zombie Boy, sold by Spirit Halloween for the 2014 Halloween season, resembled a zombified boy on a tire swing that was missing a foot. That is just too funny. I love stupid little stuff like that. When activated, it starts to swing as the mouth moves to grunting. So I don't think he actually says anything. I think he just grunts. Let's roll down here and we're going to... We already looked at a bunch of pictures of them, so let's skip the pictures. Um, we're going to go straight to the video here. What kind of video is this? All right. Tire Swing Boy, Spirit Halloween. It looks like the video is being made through a car window or something. All right, let's check this out. All right, here we go. What in the world? <laughs> Look at his jaw. That is the weirdest movement for a jaw ever. And I gotta say, rather than a zombie, he sounds like Little Forest Gump in that one scene on Forest Gump. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything else about it. If you know the scene, you know the scene, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's a cool prop. I love the way he looks. Um, the sounds, are, they're okay. The sounds are okay. It could have been so much better. But I absolutely love his look. I love his face. I love the way his jaw goes. And I love that he only has one foot. Like, what's up with that? So, all right, let's get out of here with this one. And we're going to move on to the next one. And the last one we're going to look at today, Spirit Halloween Cemetery Angel. I don't think I've ever seen this one. I thought I had seen the zombie tire swing boy, but now I definitely know that I had not seen that one before. Um, let's go ahead and look at the Cemetery Angel here. $365. This one, um, well, let's look at the pictures here for a minute. Okay, so the box says eyes glow and head and mouth move when activated and has three different phrases. Okay, that's cool. Um, there's one more picture. Yeah, ooh, it's got like a skeleton face. That's cool. Angel's head pops up to expose a haunting face. I like that because that tells me this is more than likely a, a jump scare prop. And I love those. Eyes glow, head moves when activated. Looks like an actual stone statue. Okay, we'll be the judge of that. Let's go on over here to the Spirit Halloween fandom page, and there is an awesome picture of it right there. 
That face looks totally creepy. Okay. The Cemetery Angel was an animatronic sold by Spirit Halloween for the 2013 Halloween season. It resembled a gray, crying angel. I like it already. With its hands covering its face. When activated, the head raised up to reveal the skeletal face. When the eyes lit up and the mouth moved, as it said, one of multiple phrases. Now... I'm curious to see what happens with this thing, because the one description says on the box that his head, like, pops up, which would be a jump scare. This description says his head raises up, which could just be a slow movement. So I'm kind of interested in seeing what happens here. Let's go on down. Let's look at these pictures here for a minute. Look at that thing. I gotta tell you, honestly, when I see this thing, the very first thing it makes me think of are the flying monkeys on the Wizard of Oz. Look how creepy this thing looks. Let's move on to the next picture. There's a side view. It looks like the wings probably go like this and like the tips maybe move as well. There's another side view. That's pretty cool looking. I like it. There's a picture of the back and there's the front again. Look at that face. That is pretty creepy. It doesn't really look like stone, and it's supposed to, but I get it. It's gray, so we can pretend. Here's a picture of him set up in the store. Yeah, look, he was $179.99 when he was sold in the store. Let's go ahead and get out of that, and we're going to go down and watch the video here. I'm really anxious to see what happens with this guy. I want to see if that head pops up and scares you, or if it's just like a slow thing. Here we go. Spirit Halloween, Cemetery Angel. Why have you come here? You must leave. Why look into my eyes and return to stone? Whatever! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, that was pretty cool. It was neither. It wasn't a jump scare where he jumped up really fast, and it wasn't a slow raising of the head either. It was like in between. Pulls the hands away, and he starts saying crazy phrases. The eyes light up. It's a pretty creepy look on that thing. So, all right, guys, that was three more Spirit Halloween animatronics that I had not seen before. Um, you know, like I said, the very first one, I think I have seen before. I've definitely seen the one from Distortions, and it's much better. But uh, this one was still pretty cool. So stick around. Let me know in the comments if there are other ones that you guys want to see. We're going to keep doing these videos until the Spirit Halloween stores are open again. What are those? I told you to stay away.